Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. Thank you so much for joining me here today on YouTube. Today, you guys, we're gonna have a young pit bull named Gypsy come into the facility. Gypsy is afraid of absolutely everything and everybody. She's hiding under the chair. She's nipped a couple people out of fear. And so, day, so today, Gypsy's owner, has come, <laughs> Gypsy's owner have traveled from Ohio to help with, can we possibly build confidence in this dog can we hand this leash off to other people can this dog actually feel a little bit more comfortable around people and human beings she doesn't know so we're going to do a giveaway in this video so make sure you watch the whole thing and without further ado let's get into the video guys so, why don't you explain to me the the incidences that that happened with her so far okay so the one time i was on the phone and i did have her right next to me but somebody came out of our building he just came out or you know, before I could even notice what he was doing, and, and she snapped at him. But mostly it's just anyone she meets. Uh, what she does do is then when they get up to go, she like does this jump bark thing. When you have a dog that doesn't like other people coming up, again, that's like a big respect thing. There's a lot of people who think that, hey, my dog doesn't love random people coming up, that's a problem. It's not a problem, it's its a respect thing. Some dogs are a little bit more insecure. You can tell with her, her ears are back. She's, she's checking me out. She's trying to escape a little bit yeah. and she's, she's insecure. So All right, you guys, giveaway time. All you have to do to enter to win a free No Bad Dogs hat is leave your dog's name letter by letter by letter in the comments below and we'll randomly select one person in the next 24 hours. Ready, set. Go. Because like I said, here's what a lot of people do when they meet a dog is they go right over the head. The dog goes, whoa, what are you doing? Or they do this and they go, hey, are you going to bite me or are you not? Yeah. It's like, it's not really a good, it's not fair to the dog to, yeah. to, to put them in that situation. But again, a lot of people don't realize how to meet a, a, a dog that is a little insecure. Mm -hmm. And if somebody comes up to a dog that's a little insecure and bombards them like they have with her, and she snips at him, that's the only thing she's got. I mean, that's her only protective, instinctual thing to yeah. do is to say, hey, don't kill me. Shit. Left. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. Kill. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a stick up. She picks a perfect. I'm just gonna take her out like this. Good girl, Gyps. So again, like if I'm, if I'm meeting a new dog, I'm not going to look at her, touch her, try to do do you like me or do you not like me? Come on. So what I'm gonna do is just come this way a bit. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I got a whole plan. Cool. Come on. So what I'm gonna do is just come this way a bit. Good girl. I spend a little bit of time with her to, to see. Right now she's very fearful. She's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. There's a couple different ways we can do this. She's shutting down and she's like, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, right? So it's like a little kid clinging onto the caravan when they're going into the first day of kindergarten. Of course they don't want to, but you're like, come oh, on, man, leave the roost. <laughs> so we have a couple different options. She's clinging to you for, for her dear life because she's insecure with me, which is, res again, respectable. I, 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 I'm, I wanna make it clear in situations like this, hey, my dog doesn't like this or my dog doesn't like this, that's, that's totally cool. But right now, she's like under the impression like there's two sides to this. Is emotionally she feels, I'd rather not. <laughs> if I can fight this and, and do this, and that's why she's, she's like that, she's like, okay, I'm just gonna lay right here. I'm just gonna act like I'm sleeping and they're not gonna wake me up. She's not gonna take food from me, um, even though she, you said she's insanely treat motivated because she's not comfortable with me. So people and dogs and animals in general don't like eating when they're uncomfortable, it makes sense. Typically when I'm, when I'm working with dogs like this, we have a bunch of different tools in the toolbox to see if we can get them comfortable with working with me from a distance. So this just kind of takes the pressure, the physical pressure away from her a bit, where I'm further away from her. So it may, it may help her feel a little bit more comfortable coming to me. Gypsy, come. Come. Okay. So see, so this is big, okay? So I wanna show you something. See how she's to a point where she would rather choke herself completely out. The important thing is I'm not asking anything of her to, to just walk my way. I just literally want you to go boop, boop. So we're not asking her to jump through hoops. We're not asking her to go up a teeter-totter. We're not asking her to jump through a ring of fire. I'm just saying, 
can you just walk towards me? Can't, won't, shouldn't, won't do it. <laughs> so historically, you know, my watch is not working right now, but if, so what would I do with a dog like this if I had normal dog training time? If I was, hey, I do two month program, six month program, I'm gonna be around for a while. Ideally, I'd say, you guys stay here, I'm gonna bring her outside and walk her around. We have a cumulative of five hours. You guys drove from Ohio to, to say, hey, we gotta expedite this process to get her more confident. I don't necessarily, like you guys want her to be probably better with people and stuff. I don't care as much about the people as I do her confidence. Because if she doesn't like randos coming up and petting her, I'm cool with that, I respect that. The time, that it takes her to warm up to somebody I want to minimize. So I want to, I want her to go, oh, it's not so bad. Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, it's, and then all of a sudden she's gonna go, sure, I've done this 10 times today. I'm gonna hand her off to other people as they walk by and she's gonna uh, take that information in. So she's gonna build a little bit of confidence and it starts with me. So because she's shutting down so hard, come on, baby, come on. So now I want you to, this is a Herm Springer 2.25, okay? So this is the, the Kurrigan. This is gonna be a safer collar for her currently. She'll choke herself, She'll choke herself out. Cause now I wanna, I wanna just confidently and very consistently just say, let's go, let's go. So pressure release, come. Good girl, good girl. Good. What a difference. The question usually comes about, how the hell can a, can a prong collar make a dog more confident, right? What was that, guys? Honestly, 30 seconds? It's not magic, right? When you get an animal that shuts down and says, oh my God, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, and then I lose all leverage. Because they don't speak our language, right? They don't speak English. They're not kids, I can't say, Timmy, if you, if you come, if you go to kindergarten and go with Mrs. Smith, as they're gripping the handlebar, you're gonna get ice cream or you're gonna get an iPad or your iPhone after school. I can't do that with her. I have no leverage. Well, this is living proof right in front of your eyes in less than a minute. We have a dog that's choking herself out, um, full of insecurities to then, okay, fine. So it gives me the opportunity to open that, di that dialogue of like, hey, just try this out. Right? And she comes over, her ears are down, and I go, and I just, I just offer her a little bit of food. These prongs go all the way around. Like the prong that you had that you came in with is very big and bulky, right? It doesn't evenly distribute the pressure as well as the Herm Springer does. With something like with this, see how this collar has a distributing plate right here? Yeah. So that distributing plate has the prongs going in this direction and in this direction. Okay. So it evenly distributes this pressure gently on her, safely on her. Okay. You know, there is a significant difference and it doesn't matter if you're a mechanic or a chef, if your knife or your tools are cheap or whatever, uh, it will make a difference. It's going to, to maybe get the job done, but it may not be as nice. Uh, it's not gonna be as clean. It's not gonna be as precise, maybe. It's not gonna be as quality. Something, is the prong collar something that we have to have on all the time? Is the prong collar something on that we leave on every day, whatever? It's, it's the ability to communicate with her so you don't have that choking, that pulling, um, that freak out. The ability to power steer her. It's like, again, with the cars, it's like, could you drive a car without power steering? Sure, if you want to, but it's, it's not gonna be as good. It is important to also mention that she's not fixed. She doesn't love me. We're not off to the races to be done in modified behavior, but it, it is these breakthrough moments where you're, you're definitely on a new level now. Now we have the opportunity to work with her. If I have a dog that I want to go there, how am I going to do that? I'm not gonna talk to her yet. I'm just gonna communicate with her with a little bit of leash pressure positive reinforcement and body language. So this is like the real test I, I typically do with my clients to say, I want you to take your animal and put them there in that gate or put them here. They're like, okay, gypsy, let's, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. D does your dog understand English all of a sudden? I'm, I'm confused, let's, let's try to do this as organically as possible. 
How do I get her to there? I'm just gonna use my body. Stop her, give her body pressure and she sits. So that's a, that, so there. So that's a conversation that we just had. So, okay, ready? This is the test. How do I get her back there? Cool, right? So, so as you guys saw in this video, the prong collar made a significant difference. I literally have hundreds of videos of changing dogs' lives, changing dog owners' lives by using the Herm Springer prong collars safely, humanely, on time. And it's just something that a lot of people are afraid of because everyone thinks and assumes that it's just this corrective collar that you have to use to correct a dog. Where on the contrary, as you guys saw in this video, it's also something to give a dog a safer support system in order to get them through different things that they may be afraid of that they shouldn't be afraid of. So in this video, like with Gypsy, she was terrified. She's like, I can't do this. There's no, there's no way I'm gonna be able to go with you. I could have ended it right there and said, you know what, your dog is actually too insecure. This isn't gonna work. Or I could have spent uh, hours and hours and weeks and maybe even months just trying to give her food where she's like, no man, I'm shutting down. I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. Or I can help her leave the roost a little bit by using that really safe, humane tool of the prong collar. Just say, hey, let's just go, th just walk with me. It's all I want you to do is walk with me. I'm not asking her to do anything she doesn't know. And I hope that this was informative for you guys to see how beautifully the prong collar can help a dog that's really insecure. Because we do get a lot of questions on how in the world can a prong collar build a dog's confidence. You guys just saw firsthand, the owner went home happier than a pig and you know what, I'm happy. Gypsy's more comfortable. She's coming up to me. She's coming up to the other trainers over a couple of days because of the expedited prong collar introduction. So I'm really excited for her. I'm excited for you guys to, to see this information and see the progress of what a tool can do if you use it properly, of course. And anyway, guys, if you haven't yet, do not forget to kick that like button, absolutely destroy that freaking subscribe button. We put videos like this out every single week, sometimes two or three times a week. I appreciate you guys so much. We have literally created the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I will talk to you next time. Peace.